I love books, but I found that the worst thing to do if you love books is to study literature because it forces you into reading something which you don't necessarily want to, but they want you to read these things because they're canonical, or they're classics. What these lessons often do is just taking something which is really, really well written and maybe even a Nobel Prize winning book, something like The Lord of the Flies, but it reduces it to memories of over-analytical essays and really slow reading all together in class and the sound of your teacher's voice saying I've got the conch. Studying French literature at university was not much different, it didn't instill so much hatred of the reading material as I was expecting it to. So I've kind of tried to expand my reading a little bit and I would like to share that with you right now. The things I'm going to show you are pretty much classics but they may not be in your syllabus if you're studying French literature at the moment. Starting with the A's, this is on a lot of syllabi but it was not on mine. Marcel Aimé, Le Passe Marais, this is a collection of short stories. The thing I like about them is that they actually sneak elements of science fiction and philosophy into what is otherwise just a very pleasant story to read. Le Passe Marais means the man who could walk through walls. The first story is about a guy who could walk through walls and it's never explained why he can walk through walls, it's never questioned, he can just do it and it's seeing what he does with this new superpower. There's a woman who can multiply herself and it shows how her different bodies develop different personalities and they kind of become autonomous. There's another one in which a man inexplicably jumps into the future but suddenly has all these memories in the head of the life that he hasn't lived and then jumps back to the present and is doomed to live through this life forever remembering the future. But you don't really notice it being philosophical because of the way that it's written. So it's an almost fairy tale style of writing. Moving on to the seas, this is definitely a classic. Camus La Peste is taught in English translation in a lot of literature degrees, hello Tron. This is about an outbreak of the bubonic plague in a small town which is then quarantined and while you do follow a few key characters, the emphasis is more on the community as a whole which made me think a little bit of the Grapes of Wrath. Um, I am going to admit that I have not finished this because I found that it got quite dull moving towards the end and it just kind of kept telling me statistics about how many people died. Another one of Camus which was on my syllabus but which I read before and which I have subsequently left at home is L'Etrangère. This is probably Camus' most famous work. It's about a man who simply doesn't react how he should to things. So it's it's got one of the most famous opening lines of all time. Hier, maman est morte. At his mother's funeral, he doesn't cry. He has a girlfriend he's been with for years and she says, hey, wanna get married? And he's like, yeah, sure. Later, he commits his own crime and all of these things that he's done before are brought up in the trial to the point that I think it's his lawyer who says, is he being tried for killing a man or for burying his mother? It's all about social expectations and stuff, but at the same time, it's very, very easy to read. Another one that I've left at home, but which I adore is Le Petit Prince, but Antoine Saint-Exupéry. This is another absolute classic. It's kind of a children's book, but it's hilarious and poignant and incredibly sad. Le Petit Prince is a, a little prince who lives on a, a small planet which is kind of hanging in the air and he spends most of the story jumping between these other planets and meeting all these different characters who do things but don't know why. These are very exaggerated characters, but they embody things that adults do because they are things that adults do. And when you put them in that context and seen through the eyes of the child they become absolutely ridiculous. Last but by no means least is my favourite piece of French literature, not a single book but a series of books published over a number of years but for some reason all are about the events of the year 50 BC. It has been a very very eventful year for the Romans. Asterix and Obelix is a French national treasure. Considering they were published just after the Second World War when France had just gone out of a German occupation, talking about the Roman occupation and the fact that the French were like constantly fighting back and constantly keeping their chins up was a, an important thing at the time. These have been translated into numerous different languages including English. One of my first memories of the French language was having a copy of Asterix and Cleopatra in English and Asterix and Cleopatra in French and trying to see how they could hear. Happy reading, thank you very much for coming, have a lovely day in Santo.